Mulishani. Mule Bwanji. Mule Wuti. Muchiwani. Muji Beepi Mwani. Mudinga I Mwani. Greetings and welcome to the EasyGate channel. The Lusaka Securities Exchange is Zambia's primary equities market. This channel's intent is to place a spotlight on the equities traded on the exchange, zoning in on their historical profit trends and shareholder benefits. Today's episode zones in on the Purchasing Managers Index PMI and its impact on the Lusaka Stock Exchange. Last Friday on the 3rd of February, Stambic Bank PLC released its monthly PMI report. The statement is headlined, Zambian private sector returns to growth in January. The Purchasing Managers Index is an index of the prevailing direction of economic trends in the manufacturing and service sectors. It summarizes whether market conditions, as viewed by purchasing managers, are expanding, staying the same, or contracting. The purpose of the PMI is to provide information about current and future business conditions to company decision makers, analysts, and investors. The headline PMI was reported at 50.6 an increase from the December value of 48.3. The report indicated that the strengthening of overall conditions reflected renewed expansions in output, new orders, employment and stocks of purchases. Higher new orders fed through to an expansion in business activity, also the first in four months. Output increased in the agriculture and services categories, but decreased across manufacturing, construction and wholesale and retail. The trend shows that sentiment was the strongest in 13 months. This improvement in business conditions was the first in four months and the most pronounced since December 2021. The job market improved as well with companies taking on board new staff. The report read and we quote, Employment rose for the first time in three months, while input buying increased for the first time since last September. Data also signaled a renewed rise in inventories. In countries with mature stock markets, the headline PMI is a big deal and a major driver of investor decision making. When the PMI is being announced there usually tends to be a lot of volatility leading into and shortly after its announcement. Zambia's Lusaka Stock Exchange is no different. On Friday the 3rd, when the PMI was announced, the volume and quarter turnover rose significantly in comparison to the previous trading session. The turnover totaled 436,961 quarter. The only downside in our opinion being the low valuation, a sign of low market participation among local citizens and investors. Though Zambif did not lead the assets in turnover on the Lusaka Securities Exchange, companies from the agriculture sector and the manufacturing sector saw a rise in transactions on the day. Zambia Sugar PLC, Zafico, Zambian Breweries, Chilanga Cement and National Breweries also saw some action. One notable asset in the related sectors that failed to see some trading action was Zamefa. As much as there are concerns that input costs have increased for the first time in the broader economy, we see these assets benefiting long term with the expansion and growth realized in January as we expect lower petroleum prices and a stronger quarter in quarter 2 of 2023. Tell us what you think and share your thoughts on how you expect the assets listed to perform from here. The EasyGate operator does not work in the financial industry and is not qualified to give investment advice. This and other productions must not be considered as issuing such advice but simply represent the research, observations, and opinions of the operator. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Leave a comment. And be sure to subscribe to be notified of future videos.